American atheists urge Supreme Court not to impose blasphemy law. In the United States, the civil rights organization, American Atheists, urged the Supreme Court justices to refrain from restricting free speech in conjuring a de facto blasphemy law into existence from the bench. The case involved is Fulton versus City of Philadelphia, wherein Catholic Social Services claims the City of Philadelphia must provide it with taxpayer-funded contract to place children in foster care despite its refusal to comply with the city's non-discrimination requirements in part because two Philadelphia officials made innocuous statements about the archdiocese and the Pope. Jeffrey Blackwell, litigation counsel at American Atheist, stated, quote, if the court were to overturn decades of jurisprudence because of these harmless comments, it would create a doctrine akin to a blasphemy law. Free speech would be stifled and officials would be encouraged to fawn over religion since to do otherwise would endanger any government action, end quote. Wait, can you explain this? I don't I didn't get it. Explain. So there's a lot going on in this case. Mm. Um, one of the main factors of this case is that Catholic Social Services was previously contracted with the city of Philadelphia to provide um, foster care services for children placed in the foster care system. Now, the city of Philadelphia revoked that contract because... Catholic Social Services was discriminating against same-sex couples who wanted to take care of foster children. They wouldn't let gay couples, queer couples, they wouldn't let them become foster parents through this organization. So the city of Philadelphia revoked their contract and in turn, Catholic Social Services sued because they think that it is part of their, it infringes on their liberty to not discriminate against gay people. So okay. uh, one thing that came into this case was there were a few city officials who made comments related to Catholicism in the Catholic church. So the Catholic social services are also coming after them for that as a form of um, bigotry, discrimination and infringing upon their first amendment rights. Now the comments are very innocuous it's just benign criticism but it is not encouraging action against catholics or this social service where, where does blasphemy come into all of this because um let me pull up the article um they are saying um that that these comments constitute religious hostility mm. and they are trying to bring that into the case of discrimination against and um against them so they're saying because these people who happen to be city officials said some things that they don't like that oh. that um constitutes That's an infringement upon their first amendment rights which okay. is not true. So then what is, American okay, that's atheists... Is, okay, that's effectively blasphemy. Yeah, so exactly. So um, where American atheists is saying, coming in, is they're saying, if you do this, mm, this so, in, in defense of Catholics, so to speak, then that gives us open range for us to go after any other person sitting in public office who speaks against atheists and secularists, of which there are many high-ranking mm. people who do this. So one thing that also went into this article was them talking about how if you if you go forward with this, expect a rainfall, a waterfall of lawsuits against all these other ranking officials who trash us. Right, right. Okay, so Ethan is saying government sh the government shouldn't be contracting religious organization for services anyways. Should be a separation of church and state. Um, AGA is saying the Catholic Church should have nothing to do with child protective services. Okay, yeah. Um, oh, Mark he is here from the Philippines, <laughs> which is fitting right now because we're talking about the Catholic Church. 
uh, AJ is saying it will open the doors to other cases. Imagine if, like, yeah, it, it, <laughs> imagine if blasphemy laws one day are used in defense of atheists. We're like, yeah, that would be a thing. All right, let's news. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why. What has what's holding you back? Okay, if you haven't subscribed to our channel. Why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like, bell, <laughs> and also, if, you, if you're if you not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you, we think it's no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, nah, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well and share, share our videos because you know, we do get demonetized. That's an obvious on every one of our videos. So F that, but we don't care about that anymore, <laughs> but we also get deprioritized and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritized. What does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right and all that, you know, on the, on people's homepages. And that's how channels grow. Unfortunately we can't grow. So we need you guys to share our videos. So